Overall, big tech continues to sell off. And I wanted to share one tip for a lot of the beginners that are out there that um, do not understand the correlation between the VIX index and how the overall NASDAQ market performs. So let me go ahead and just start sharing my screen. I really hope that you learned something new. And if you do, please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing if you feel like we earned it. Now, one thing that you'll see here is that all of a sudden with the VIX index, also known as the fear index or volatility index, whatever it is that you want to call it, um, all of a sudden it began to spike up. And when this thing begins to spike up, then guess what happens? Well, when this begins to spike up, then SQ, uh, or I'm sorry, QQQ, NASDAQ market, and S&P 500 begin to pull on back. So what the VIX index is known for, and please, I encourage you, do your own due diligence, right? It's known as the volatility index. When there's more fear being injected into the market, there's more volatility that ends up presenting itself and therefore more potential selling pressure. This thing has been spiking recently but as you guys can see based off of recent patterns <clears throat> excuse me um you guys can see that the vix has these like rallies where it spikes but then corrects itself it spikes and then it corrects itself it spikes and then it corrects itself so fear tends to be short-lived based off of recent patterns i mean it's a strong descending pattern where again it's more common support range is right around 12 and it's currently trading right around 16 to almost 17 per share so the really important thing to understand here is that okay well the vix does look extremely overbought based off of recent patterns and if it's anything like it was before we are getting closer to the top than we are to the bottom so with that being said what exactly is this telling us if and only if, if this time, again, if this is just the short-lived negative catalyst, then we should see naturally that the overall NASDAQ market finds its support and then begins to recover. For all those that are extremely bullish that think that the market's going to continue to go higher for longer, then this is the time where you be, uh, begin to prepare and create a plan of action, right? Where do you plan to buy? Where do you plan to sell? And of course, where do you plan to cut losses if the trade does not go according to plan? But also with a lot of other tech companies, right? If you guys look at uh, Tesla, Tesla, I walked away with $10,355. I went short, I went long, and then I went short on this again. You guys can see that it gapped up from yesterday's close to today's open. It sold off and then gapped up, became very overbought, and then we were able to short it on the way down. So the really cool thing about this is that due to all of this volatility, you can do a really good job being able to buy the lows and sell the highs. But just like Tesla and many other big tech companies right now, they're at critical points, right? Tesla is testing a very critical support range that if we do begin to break below this and if we do begin to show signs of an active sell-off below 245, then at that point, we go back down to 230. And then from 230, maybe to 220, and from 220 all the way back down to 200. So again, it's kind of stepping stones, but it's at a critical range where if we do not hold support, we have a huge gap down for Tesla. But if we do hold support and the market continues uh, and remains bullish, then we should be able to bounce here off of that 250 and work our way back up to 270. So my question to you is, well, where, what are you creating a plan for? Are you someone that is more bullish for the market or are you someone that is more bearish for the market regardless of what it is that i plan to do right a lot of you guys know that as markets pull on back i love to short them no question about it the market's been more bullish than it has been bearish so that's a, a very important understanding to have because it's all about market sentiment and recent market sentiment for the past two to three days is that it's been a little bit bearish two to three days does not define a market reversal right we all know that the overall market for 2024 has been incredibly bullish. So think about this. If you think that the market's going to continue to recover, then these pullbacks should be very exciting because this is where you can begin to load up in a calculated way to be able to buy it for a deal and make money on the recovery. Remember, just like Warren Buffett said, if your intention is to invest, buy when there's fear in the market and sell when there's greed in the market. No question about it. Let's keep it super simple. I'm super excited to see what the market does tomorrow. I'm not here to pretend like I like I, I can predict the future. All I know is that the market is oversold enough that it could build enough buying pressure here. Uh, it's at a de demand zone, right? Above the moving average. And there's been a lot of previous support here right around 470, 480 that we can begin to recover. So I'd love to go long if it makes sense. But also if we do break the support at the moving average, the market is overbought. And you can see this on the day chart. If we break below this EMA, we have huge gap down potential. And that's one thing that I always love to share with our LPP students is 
When in doubt, never be afraid to zoom out. It gives you a different perspective looking at different time frames. If you're looking at the one minute, the five minute, or the 30 minute, you can get a much different perspective if you look at the one hour, four hour, or even day chart, right? The more you know, the more informed of a decision that you can make, and the less likely you are to make an impulsive trade that you simply end up regretting. And there's no such thing as a perfect trade, but again, our job here is just to make you aware of all the different tools and resources that you have access to and as well as the mistakes that we've made in our past before. So I appreciate your time. I hope to see you for tomorrow's live trading session. I'd love to invite you. It's the second link in the description down below. You can sign up tonight and watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow when the market opens. I'll see you then. Take care team.